This is a brief instructional video on working our new coffee machine. You'll notice that the water is almost full, which is where it should be. If it needs water, add water from the filtered water using a pitcher. The tray underneath the coffee has a bunch of little coffee cups in it. If we're out of coffee cups in the tray, you can look for them on the shelf or talk to someone tall for the ones on the top shelf. Wow. The operation of this coffee machine is designed to be really easy and the cleanup pretty straightforward, so maybe we can handle it. This is where the coffee goes. This is the coffee cup. This is the bottom of the cup. This is the top. They put the writing there. Don't spend a lot of time with your fingers in that area because there's all kinds of dangerous sharp stuff. And then you close it. Once you close it, you'll see that it tells you it's ready to brew. If you get to the machine and none of the lights are on, there's a power switch back there. So once it's ready to brew, you'll see that there are different size cups. If you want a different size cup of coffee, use the menu function to choose a different size cup. Here, the standard regular size mug will work out just fine. That's Debbie's extra large mug, by the way. All right, and then your coffee cup's in place. You hit the flashing brew button, it makes the magic sound, trying to see black against black, yeah, look it's brewing, there you go. Not only have we made coffee convenient, but now it's a spectator sport. Now, the final step to you move your coffee out of the way is you open this basket and you throw away your little cup. Now, this has got mylar on it, so this is garbage. Never mind all the compostable material inside. Have a good day, folks. Advanced usership of the K-Cup. You can actually brew any coffee you want in here, and we're going to do that right now. You have to have these three pieces. This is the My K-Cup filter. And the first thing you have to do, you come to the machine and it's closed. You open the machine, and you very carefully, from underneath, push this holder out. Put it off to the side. Don't lose that, or everyone here will kill you. Then, you're going to fill this basket with two tablespoons of coffee. Here, Eric has ground his coffee. Fill that with a scoop of coffee. Looks very good. You'll notice the grind is coarse but not too coarse. We drop that inside of this and then we lock the lid in place. So this is all one unit. We take that and we drop it in place and then we close the machine. From this point on it operates just like the other one. We hit the brew button. And this allows you to enjoy fresh ground coffee from any beans you would like uh, through the Keurig machine. Now, at the end of this, you're going to take this out, walk it over to the compost, and knock the uh, grounds into the compost, and then rinse it out in the sink for the next person. And then you can just hit stop. Stop.